Have you ever heard the phrase, hurting people hurt others? Have you ever thought about it? Hurting people hurt others. How do you act when you're frustrated? When things are going wrong, when there's a lot of stress in your life, how do you act? How does your spouse act? Often we hurt the person we love the most. When we're stressed out, frustrated, you know, pushed in a corner, maybe things aren't going good at work, or maybe our needs aren't being met. And ultimately, it's like we have to be happy, right? Most of us have to be happy. Sometimes people ask me, what do you mean by happy? Like they're never happy. Well, hurting people hurt others. And let's look at the reasons for that. First of all, people have past experiences, whether it's childhood, whether it's their teenage years, they made some bad choices and, and uh, ended up in some bad places, whether it's getting married young and then something happening and it not working out and all your dreams go crashing. What is it that causes people to hurt? Well, there's a million reasons, but sometimes it's something from our past. It's not just the stress of today, but it's something from our past. The second thing is extreme frustration. You know, are you frustrated about somebody or a situation at work or someone in your households frustrating you terribly? When we have extreme frustration, we have to let it out one way or the other. I teach on the different communication styles, the different personality styles, and guess what? We each communicate our frustration differently. Some people are sarcastic. Some people are angry and they have rage and they just burst. <laughs> They're burst. They've got to get it out one way, one way or another. Some people are quiet and they keep that rage and that frustration to themselves, to their selves until they suddenly burst. So when you have extreme frustration, how do you vent? How do you get it out? Well, sometimes we have a lack of control of a situation and some people, they need to have control of the situation. Sometimes it's literally we're personally frustrated with the way that someone is treating us. And what can we do about that? Quite often it is personality that causes frustration. Sometimes it's literally personalities that rub each other wrong. Sometimes they live in the same house and they're married. Boy, that can be tough. And if you're in that situation, it's important to find out what's going wrong before it's too late and can't be undone. Because some people are wide open and they're direct and they put it out there to you while other people close up and they don't share. Hurting people hurt others. Are you expectant? Do you expect a lot of other people? There is a personality style that expects a lot from other people, but guess what? They expect from themselves also. And it's literally uh, your DNA. It's how you're made sometimes when you are expectant of other people. Or are you selfless and you're not thinking about yourself ever and you're thinking about other people? Usually we're one way or we're the other. How about, are you impatient? Do you find you're impatient and it's just how you're made up? Everything gets on your nerves or you're in a hurry and there's someone else who's really slow, you know, or you need answers and somebody's not giving them to you. You know, are you impatient or are you a very patient person? All of these things are how we perceive life. We all perceive life differently. Are you self-centered? I kind of think I said that already, selfless or expectant, but are you self-centered or are you always thinking about the people around you and what can I do for you? What can I make you happy? Sometimes when we get too self-centered and we're thinking about my problems, my exhaustion, my busy schedule, we forget to think about the other person because there's always another point of view. Hurting people hurt others. Well, I'm Connie Durham and I have a podcast coming up. It's starting on November the 2nd and it's called The Extraordinary Marriage Podcast. And no, it's not full of perfect people. It's full of people who have learned to work it out. 
to figure it out and to try to live their best life. So I have two gifts for you. First of all, that podcast is coming up November 2nd, and I hope you'll look for that on Spotify and Apple and Google. Um, but the second thing is I have a, a free gift for you. It's called a recipe for a happy, healthy marriage. A recipe, you know, how to, how to get there for a happy, healthy marriage. It's going to give you two things. First of all, I'm going to have a love languages quiz right inside where you can take that quiz. And then I'm going to have a seven steps. It's a little video that gives you seven steps. It's a place to start to try to get along better with your spouse, to try to be a better spouse yourself. All right. So I hope that you will go and you will grab that whenever you, um, at the bottom of this video, I'll have an address for you to grab that right there, probably on the YouTube. Um, and it's Connie Durham, The Extraordinary Marriage. And